Kate reveals William isn't romantic as he won't buy her red roses for Valentine's Day. The Princess of Wales visited a flower stall in Leeds as she launched her new early years campaign. The Princess of Wales has revealed that her husband Prince William is unlikely to buy her flowers on Valentine's Day as she spoke with market traders in Leeds this morning. Kate joked about her unromantic husband during a chat with florist Neil Ashcroft during her visit of the city's iconic Kirkate Market, home to hundreds of local independent businesses and counting around 120,000 visitors a week. Mr. Ashcroft said to the Royal, No doubt William will be buying you some red roses. But Kate replied, I don't think he will do. Reflecting on the encounter, the florist said he lamented failing to make a sale. I offered her a discount. I said I would give her a card and knock off the vet, he added, but nothing. He did, however, enjoy talking to the princess and said she acted very genuine. Kate's visit to the busy market on Tuesday saw her speak to a number of traders and shoppers while a 90-second claymation film promoting her new Shaping Us campaign played on a big screen. Her plans to visit had been announced 40 minutes earlier and proved to be a pleasant surprise for many shoppers, including one who greeted her with a wolf whistle when she arrived. Another, Shirley Wainwright, 75, had just got off a bus from Harrogate and was delighted to find herself talking to a future queen. I didn't know, love, you were coming. It was a complete surprise, she told the princess, who glad-handed her way around the market. She also very sweetly calmed a man's nerves when he asked her for a selfie, Kate told the man, we all get nervous. Upstairs the Princess of Wales met traders to discuss their reaction to her campaign as well representatives of organizations working with children and parents in the city as part of an initiative called Child Friendly Leads. Under the initiative, the City Council has been working with partners since 2012 on a coordinated approach to investing in and supporting children young people and their families. The idea is it will create social and economic benefits and in just over a decade, Leeds has seen a reduction in the number of children and young people taken into care. It has also recorded better school attendance and seen more young people going into further education, training and employment. What Leeds is doing in general, what the city is doing, is really extraordinary, Kate said. Actually you are leading the way and putting children and young people at the heart of the city and community here. It's really impressive to hear. She said services and the approach to childhood development elsewhere were fragmented but suggested other cities should follow Leeds' example. It needs to be replicated, she added. Before she left, Kate praised the city for putting children at the heart of the community. Leeds is really doing an amazing job, she said. Following her visit to Kirkate Market, Kate went to Leeds University to discuss her Shaping Up campaign with child care study students. The course focuses on a broad approach to early childhood development, which ties in with her new campaign, the next step in Kate's legacy-making world on a child's first five years. Kate's engagement at the university saw the princess joining a lecture focused on attachment theory looking in particular at how relationships formed in early childhood provide a template for later life and set the foundation for the baby's future well-being, learning and behavior. Her new campaign Shaping Us aims to heighten awareness of the vital importance of the first five years of life and how experts can predict how happy, healthy and confident people will be as adults from studying them in those early years. Earlier on Tuesday, the future queen released a video to official launch the campaign where she said, our early childhood, the time from pregnancy to the age of five, fundamentally shapes the rest of our lives. But as a society we currently spend much more of our time and energy on later life. Today, the Royal Foundation Center for Early Childhood is launching a new campaign, Shaping Us, to raise awareness of the life-changing impact we can have when we build a supportive, nurturing world around children and those who care for them. Because by focusing our collective time, energy and resources on those most preventative years, we can make a huge difference to the physical and mental health and happiness of generations to come.
nurturing world around children and those who care for them. Because by focusing our collective time, energy and resources on those most preventative years, we can make a huge difference to the physical and mental health and happiness of generations to come.